If you've been following the last few videos, then you know that we discovered that the stock LS2 intake manifold is down about one half of a pound per square inch at wide open throttle, 6,000 RPMs versus the exterior ambient air pressure. Reducing pressure drop to the stock LS2 intake manifold seems to me like a worthwhile area to look for more power, so I started investigating. Through some careful testing and analysis, including some observational inspections and measurements, we concluded it was not the LS2's air filter elements or even the LS2 stock air filter assembly that was causing the drop of pressure to the LS2's manifold. And through further investigation, we determined that it was most likely the stock LS2 mass airflow sensor being restrictive at 85 millimeters that was responsible for the pressure drop inside the LS2 intake manifold. So in the last video, we ordered and received most of the following parts. First, an LS7 complete air filter assembly from eBay for $123 an LS7, LS3 mass airflow sensor from Amazon for $48, an adapter cable from Amazon from LS2 to LS3 mass airflow sensor for about $13, and I ordered a new AC Delco air filter for the LS7 air filter assembly for about 75 bucks from Amazon, but that had not arrived as of the date of that video. The last thing we did in the last video was to tune the C6's PCM with some data that I stole from a stock 2008 C6-Z06 tune with regards to the mass airflow data and the intake air temperature data so that the C6's PCM can digest that new data coming from those new sensors and run good enough so that we can do some road tuning and ultimately some wide open throttle pulls. So for today's video, I've been seriously running out of time this week because it's been raining most of the week and the temperatures have been plummeting. Neither one is an ideal condition for road testing and doing the fine tuning for the C6. So because of the weather, I've had to scrap the fine tuning of the C6 for now. And to be able to proceed, I removed a few more degrees of ignition timing from the C6's tune, and then we proceeded to the street to test the bench tune that we came up with in the last video. While carefully driving and scanning the C6, I determined that the part throttle operation was close enough. The wide open throttle operation was on the rich side for sure and we weren't receiving any knock. So we were good to go with proceeding with the testing of our LS2 air filter assembly back to back against our LS7 air filter assembly to see if we achieved our goal of reducing the pressure drop to the LS2's intake manifold. To make sure that this back to back testing was as accurate as possible, because of the fact that air pressure, air temperature, and wind speed are dynamic and they're constantly slowly changing over time, we did the back-to-back -back testing on the same stretch of road going the same direction within an hour of each other with just enough time between runs to switch between the LS7 air filter assembly and the LS2 air filter assembly. And by following this protocol, I believe I've removed about 99.5% of the potential variables. And now for the results of the pressure testing, here's what we found. I measured the pressure in the intake manifold at 500 RPM increments between 4,500 RPMs and 6,000 RPMs. And at each one of those points, the LS7 air intake assembly bested the LS2 assembly by about a tenth and a half of a pound per square inch at each point. So how much horsepower does a tenth and a half of a pound per square inch in the intake manifold equal? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but by doing some quick math, I think it's probably just shy of five horsepower. This is about half of the horsepower gain that I was hoping for. But before you throw in the towel on this modification for LS2 C6 owners, consider the following. The LS7 air filter assembly's design positions it much further forward and down lower within the C6's engine bay versus the LS2 design, which gives it better access to that cold exterior air. GM absolutely did this for a reason because colder air contains more oxygen, which equals more horsepower compared to an engine that's forced to use something like the LS2 air filter assembly and ingest its air from up higher in the engine bay where it's always gonna be hotter. Now it's impossible to tell exactly how much horsepower this is gonna be worth because there's a variety of factors at play, but I have no doubt that for the C6 with an LS2 engine and the LS7 air filter assembly installed, 
that for the vast majority of driving activities, it's going to be ingesting colder air on average, making materially more horsepower on average. And to me, for this reason alone, it's a worthwhile modification. Also, because the LS7 air filter assembly has a larger area where the air passes by the mass airflow sensor element, that air is moving slower and this translates into the mass airflow signal in the tune being further away from the maximum possible value. What this means to you is if you upgrade your LS2 engine in the future with better heads, a cam or intake manifold, you greatly reduce the risk of maxing out your mass airflow sensor tables in the tune, potentially saving you from having to deal with this hassle down the road. And finally, and this is absolutely subjective, but I just think the LS7 air intake assembly looks much better. So at the end of the day, what are my recommendations? Number one, would I recommend doing this as a standalone modification? Well, I'm kind of on the fence about this because the main benefit on a stock 400 horsepower LS2 is clearly obtaining that colder air. So if you can tune it yourself or have the tune done cheaply, I think I'd go ahead with it because the parts coming in at about 260 bucks are pretty affordable. That having been said, this modification clearly makes the most sense if you go ahead and perform it in conjunction with another modification like adding headers or a camshaft because that way you can tune it one time to incorporate both modifications. So guys, I hope you found this series of LS2 air intake videos entertaining and beneficial. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up below. But most of all, Thanks for watching.